Cat. The gaze is a genre that I created for people in the LGBTQ community and also adjacent to it. The LGBTQ community is real. The people in it are real and they are having a human experience. Now, there's a variety of people in the LGBTQ community and they all boxed in, right? But they all have different experiences, different ideologies, okay? I am 100% sure they argue amongst themselves and I'm 100% sure race also plays a role in that community itself. Me personally, as a creator, I wanted to interview them individually and not focus so much on the community, but focus on their individual experiences and stories and their ideologies and beliefs. In this piece, you're going to watch and listen to a conversation between myself and a transgender woman, a transgender man, a bisexual man, a lesbian woman, and a fan boy. The first communication you're going to see is my conversation with Mia. Mia is a transgender woman. And I asked Mia if there is a difference between a transgender woman and what they call a cis woman. I also asked Mia about disclosure. If she feels that she should disclose to a potential romantic partner that she is transgender. Is there a difference between a woman and a trans woman? So let's talk about language. Okay. So the, co the correct term would be a cis woman um, because I am a woman. I'm just a different type of woman, right? Okay. So a cis woman is a woman that's natally, a natal born um, woman, right? And a trans woman is an ape it's female, it's, excuse me, male to female. So you would say that I am a male, which is assigned male at birth. So there is a different, uh, uh, there is a difference between the two. However, my womanhood is just as valid as somebody who was born a woman. Okay. So, so basically what you were saying is that you are still a woman, just a different type of woman. And what we would consider, I guess, you know, for lack of, uh, better, better terms a natural woman is a cis woman that's that's what we would consider a woman a natal born woman would be a cis, a cis woman it. when when you are talking to a guy you know it could be maybe in a club or maybe you guys are you know having talking to get serious is there at any point in time where you feel like you need to let them know that you are a trans woman or you don't you don't feel like you have to disclose that information so this question is, is is something that I think is very important to um, talk about. Yeah. Uh, because I think that's the stigma that is placed against trans women, uh, especially when we are murdered. It's always, oh, that's what she gets because, you know, you shouldn't be tricking people. If you was tricking people, then you wouldn't be dead. But the, the fact is that the men who are murdering us, they are they are having sex with us. They've been in relationship with us for two for for a long time, but they are afraid to be outed, or they're afraid for people to know that they fuck with trans people. So when I meet someone out in public, like say for instance, I'm at a bar or something, it really depends on the situation and on my comfortability. Like I said, my discernment is very well. Because I'm a trans woman, that's something that is important to my survival. So um, it just depends on how comfortable I am and how do I think the situation will go. I might tell you I'm a trans woman so you can stop fucking with me. But some, that sometimes doesn't even work either. Yeah. But also, I, I might not tell you I'm a trans woman because if you giving me toots, if you if you give me hyper masculinity and alpha male vibes, oh no, I don't know what it's gonna get. So you could kill me right out in front. There's been girl, there's been trans women who have told guys, "Hey, look, I'm a trans woman," and it, it happened to a girl in Miami. A girl was walking with her good girlfriends, which are cis women, 
She was the only trans woman in the pack. Yeah. And a group of guys were walk, uh, driving by. They kept hounding her. They, she kept ignoring them. Eventually, she said, okay, I'm a trans woman. He pulled out a gun and shot her in the head and killed her. There have been other incidents, I, but it's, it's very important to know that our safety is it is a part of our disclosure and our discrepancy. Okay. So, um, I, I, I'll i tell guys, like, I would never be romantically involved with a man and not tell him that I'm a trans woman. But I, I'm not going to lie. I did do that when I was younger, when I felt like um, I had to validate my womanhood. Like, oh, my God, he doesn't know. Because there's a difference between how a man treats me when he thinks I'm a cis woman versus how he treats me when he thinks I'm a trans woman. And when he thinks I'm a cis woman, I get all my roses. I get wined and dined, and I'm getting, I'm, I'm being respected. But as soon as you find out that I'm a trans woman, oh, here we go with all these stigmas. Oh, now I gotta, I gotta hide who I am. Now I gotta go into this DL mode. Yeah. Now I gotta, um, now I'm thinking like, oh, I know what trannies are good for. I've heard the word. I'm pretty sure you can get a good head. So it goes right into sexuality, a sexual, or you trying to experiment with your sexuality. If the guy is not into trans women, right? You, you know, it, do you feel like you you should let him know because you you might be in something with the you guy. He's not into trans women. Yeah, let, let's let's say let's say the guy's not into trans women, right? And uh -huh. and and he's with you, and he might think that you you are a cis woman, right? Uh huh. And he's with you for let's say a month or two, right? And he doesn't know. Uh -huh. You know, do you feel like you know in, in in such a situation you have to let him know because if if he does find out that you are a trans woman. Is gonna get back to the original factor that he's that's not what he's into, you know. So, right. so you don't right. you don't want that complication, that confusion to happen because th there are right. guys who are not into trans women, and if you were a trans woman, why would you want to be with somebody who don't want to be with you? It, 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 no. No, I'm shaking my head because that's the truth. Okay. I'm shaking my head because yes, that's so true. Why would you want to be with somebody who doesn't want to be with you? Because that like. There are so many men, like right now, I have, um, I have a, um, a adult Twitter. There are 10,000 followers. Most of my followers are men, black men. Yeah. There are men that are okay with me being a trans woman. I don't have to treat no man in order to be with him. And here's my conversation with Fumi who is a transgender man. Let's get right into it. When you meet, you know, because um, you, you, you date women, right? Yeah. Okay, so boom, you meet you meet a woman, right? Do you feel like you, you know, especially if it's somebody that you are interested in that you want to bail with, you know, or, or it could be, you know, one night stand, whatever, you know, do you feel like you have to disclose to them or you don't feel like you need to disclose anything to any woman? Well, this is my personal this is my personal opinion on it yep. um i feel like it's vital to let people know that you're transgender because here's my my three top reasons so one reason is you know i think just in general they're gonna know anyway okay <laughs> like one, they're going to know anyway. Yeah. I don't have surgeries. And I mean, like, how like how stupid can you be? Like, if I'm having, like, maybe a one-night stand, like, which I really am not into one-night stands. Not that I'm against it for other people, but yeah. I just, like, like I said before, I was raised on Disney, and I have, like, the heart of a, like, Disney princess, but I'm looking for one, you know? Yeah. So it's like, I want that, like, love. And it's like it's kind of hard to have that like consistent intimacy and not know that you know i don't have this pipe you know what i'm saying so yeah. it's like you're gonna you're gonna eventually grab for it okay <laughs> <laughs> i mean this makes you you know think about it like if you don't have the reproductive system but then you can still say that you are of that gender then is it kind of like i think therefore i am and it's all in the brain. Max out, and I was like, okay, <laughs> let me go back to my girly glow. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I got you. So I think that, yeah, yeah. 
so I think it's important because one, they're going to know anyway, especially if you don't have surgery. Two, I want you to know because I want I want to know if you accept me. At the end of the day, throughout my conversations with you know people in the LGBTQ community, what I realize is that they just want to be accepted. That's the truth, you know? And, and that's where their frustration comes from, feeling like they're not ex accepted. Now, there are some people who, you know, will in turn flip it and, you know, abuse other people just like how they are abused. But it comes down to, you know, wanting to be accepted. If you're not accepted, you're going to rebel at some point, you know, because it feels like you're being oppressed. Imagine not being able to be who you are and the world just shuns who you are. Imagine that. How long can you take that before, you know, a side of you come out that you didn't even know was within you to fight for the person that you want to be? The difference between me and a cisgender man is I was assigned female at birth. I grew up as a girl. I, you know, had, I still identify as having a female reproductive system and i will get into that a little bit later about you know there's variations and the differences and things like that but in the most basic way this person was assigned male at birth grew up as a boy stayed and grew into a man mm -hmm. this person grew up was assigned female at birth raised as a girl identifies as a man they both identify as men but it's the past that's different and typically the reproductive system that's different. Okay. And the socialization, which is a huge part of it too. Okay. You know, so. Um, and, and, and you don't, you don't think so, biology plays a role? You, you think it's more about socialization than biology? Now, the only thing is, to be quite honest from, you know, me. I don't think it's just socialization. I think biology plays a role. You know, we have to be honest. And I think sometimes people in the LGBTQ community, they want to redefine words and redefine systems and redefine, um, you know, what we have come to accept as a society so much just so that they can exist that it now affect somebody else's way of understanding how the world works so you want to change the world so that you can exist and make sense of it but then you are changing the meaning of the world for other people so now we back to square one now you leave those other people to now feel uncomfortable and now want to defend the world that they're used to and that's where a lot of the issues come from I used to say, no, the difference between women and men is how you're raised, mm -hmm. but it's not, it's not all that. That's a huge part of it, but hormones play a major part in how a person feels, acts, looks. I think based on his own experience, he became honest with himself, and I believe there's a lot of people in the transgender community who would tell you that it's not all a sweet journey or a peaceful journey, but that aspect of their personal experience where they can use it to actually educate and warn people like, hey, this process is not easy. This process, it might not be all that you think it is. I think, you know, that part is not usually shown, um, but that part can be a form of education it shouldn't be a gotcha moment you know like him being transparent right there i wasn't like see yeah got you yeah biology plays a role respect when people come to an honest moment because if you do a gotcha moment back that means you wasn't trying to actually do anything beneficial you was just trying to be a dick the whole time you know because if they come to an honest moment and you were really trying to preach something for progress or for awareness, then that person that comes to an honest moment is an asset, not somebody to shun. 
or look down on or say, see, told you so, or gotcha. My interview with Ariana, who was a lesbian, was very enlightening. And one of the takeaways was the fact that, you know, as men, sometimes we, we want to conquer a lot of times. So if a woman says she's a lesbian and she's pretty and she's attractive and you're a guy and you still try to like pursue her, that's fucked up, you know? And growing up, it was kind of like, the idea was that it's an accomplishment. Oh, you were able to turn a lesbian woman to fuck you? Yeah, you that guy. But now to think about it, that's a whole level of manipulation. Um, and sometimes I'm sure, you know, the guys who keep doing that and the women really are against it. It's a whole level of harassment that affects that lesbian's life, you know, or their experience as a lesbian, you know, and it might make them rebel in their own way. They might just not even want to just look as pretty as they are. They might actually now start trying to dress like a man so that other men don't even like get close to them. They might make themselves unattractive so that nobody pursues them who is of the opposite gender. Middle school is when I had my first kiss. My first kiss was in seventh grade. With, in the, with, in with the, a girl? Yeah, with a girl in the, in the girl's bathroom. <laughs> uh, and who made the move first? She did. She did. Mm -hmm. well, and she was girly girl. Or she, she was, was a girly girl. She was girly girl. Okay. Yeah. But who did you date first, guy or girl? Um, before then, um, like middle school, I used to mess with guys, but I started. What's, what's mess that, like? Is this like sex? Or no, 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 no. Just like little kissing no. shit. Like, yeah, like like little puppy little, holding the hand. Yeah, and shit. yeah. Okay. But I was more. I was kind of hiding my sexuality. Like, I was more attracted to girls. Like, I was more attracted to girls. Yeah. But the story of how me and a girl, we ended up getting to that point, is when I asked her, um, she told me that she was bisexual. Yeah. And we were on a bus talking, and I was just like, I feel like I like girls, so what should I do about that? And she was just like, um, do you want me to kiss you? Do you want to, like, when we get off the bus, you want to go to the bathroom and kiss? Like, it was like some, 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 pet, some puppy love. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, we uh, I said, yeah. So when we went to the bathroom, it was like kind of awkward. Like, she told me to like calm down. So I was like, I think I like girls. Like, I think I like girls. So she kissed me, and it was like, and everything just, <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I'm gay. <laughs> okay. And so you felt that in that moment. Like, yeah. That was, that was a revelation right there. Yeah. <laughs> but, at, but at the same time, you, you weren't ready to come out. I wasn't ready to come out okay. to my parents, but so did you they, date boys to hot like kind of no like, okay. no I, I, no mm -mm. um I told my mom probably the same year but it was like we had like a, a conversation leading up to that oh you told your mom the same year yeah okay, okay. but we had a conversation leading up to that so mm -hmm. I told my mom that I um I like females and she told me that whatever she choose is my business and she's not gonna judge me ever so my mom accepts it. My dad doesn't really care. He just, I mean, he can be ignorant sometimes, of course. A lot of men, I'm, no offense, but like, a lot of men are kind of ignorant when it comes to like sex, homosexuality. Yeah. So, I mean, he's kind of ignorant, but it's not that he can really do on grown. So it's like, yeah. yeah. But all right, so let's let's kind of dive into the ignorant. Like, yeah. does, does he shun it, or he just try to act like it doesn't exist? He tries to act like it doesn't. Like it doesn't yeah, he tries to act like it doesn't exist. Like he'll he'll try to be like. um are you pregnant? Like he'll like if he says that I'm gaining weight in my face. Like one time he told me I was gaining weight in my face. He said, "Are you pregnant?" I'm like, "Pregnant?" I'm like, "Nigga, I'm gay." Like what? <laughs> How am I gonna be pregnant if I'm gay? He's like, "Oh, well, I thought you had a little boyfriend or something." I'm just like, "But you know that I like females." Like that's like really ignorant. Like she, he'll make jokes about dykes and like a dyke beating on me or something, or like a dyke strapping me down or some shit like that. I'm just like, uh, yeah. Okay. Did you, did, so did you have to like outside of the home? Did you have to battle with the identity? Definitely. The, out, you know, outside with, with friend groups and whatnot. Definitely. Um, I feel like being a feminine gay woman on this earth is very, very challenging because I feel like a lot of men they take it as a challenge. Like, oh, I can turn you. You're not really gay for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. guys, I have the guys come at me like that every single day. Like, whether it's on social media or in person. I think environment plays a role. I'm not saying it's the sole determining factor, but I think experience and environment definitely plays a role in how people are shaped um, 
you know, as straight, gay, bi, bisexual, whatever, um, not just in them becoming that, but how they live that experience when they do finally become that, when they become aware of who they are. I personally believe that there's a lot of lesbians that want to dress like men because they don't want men to pursue them. It's like, if I tell them, you know, I'm, I like females, like, I don't, I'm not interested in men, they'll still try. And that, that kind of gets annoying, that gets really annoying. Can you date a, a transsexual woman, like a man that became a woman? Um, no. Okay. Why, why, I mean, why, why you no. Be, okay. I mean, I just don't see my, I never thought about that, like, I never. <laughs> but it's in the moment, so yeah, it's in let's the get moment, you a real so organic feeling. Like, why? Is it because you, you think it's still a man, or? Yeah, or? I, mean, I mean, no, yes and no. Okay. Yes and no. You know, I've seen interviews where people say if you're straight and you wouldn't date somebody that's transgender, that means you're transphobic. That's very stupid because even in the LGBTQ community, they're not all attracted to each other. They don't all date each other, so. If a gay person wouldn't date a lesbian woman, if a gay man wouldn't fuck a lesbian woman, does that make that gay man lesbianophobic? If a lesbian wouldn't fuck uh, a gay person, are they homophobic? You know what I'm saying? So that whole idea, we ain't supposed to be attracted to every and anything, we're not. We just supposed to just respect it and let people be themselves. Now, this interview went viral. This is my conversation with, and I mean this respectfully. This is what rappers like DMX will consider a homo thug, okay? He's bisexual and he's been in a gang and he was never down low. He was open about it. And this is one of the most interesting interviews I ever did. So I'm not even going to break it down. Just you listen to this yourself. The transparency was something for me to also respect. Do you consider yourself to be a part of the LGBTQ? Yes, life? definitely. 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 Now, now, when you say you're a part of it, you know how sometimes you can say you're a part of something, but you don't practice. You don't go to like meetings. You don't go to no social. Oh, no. I, I like, like, like I go to pride every year. Um, I make sure it's like me being a openly pansexual, L being, being an LGBT artist is important. Like I don't hide that shit in my music. Um, um, I don't hide that shit period. Definitely as a black man. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, I'm from the hood. I got put down on a set when I was young. And you know, that's a no-go when you on the set. Like if you in the gang, that's a no-go. And I done had to fight so much. I done had to prove so much. And I just, I, I'm, I'm not with the download shit. I am who I am. What I'm not, I'll never be. And I'm gonna be, a, I'm gonna be proud of who I am, no matter where the fuck I am. Like my mama love me. I'm making cash. I'm making bank. <laughs> like like I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm stacking residuals out here. I'm, I'm owning property out here. Yeah. I got a wife who bad as fuck, who love me to death, and who get more pussy than I do. I'm living like I'm living better than most straight niggas out here. Like so, I'm, man, bro, I ain't never but, gave a fuck about it. But, but you said you was you was in the, in the set. Like, yeah. were you out when you were in the set? Mm -hmm. I've never, I've been openly bisexual since I was 11 years old. Yo, how did that play with the other niggas? I've had to fight a lot. Okay. I've had to fight a lot. But well, at the same can you time. Talk, can you talk about what set, what set you was in or is there something that you, you don't want to? Uh, no, 1919. <laughs> I, 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 call the silence. I, I, I keep it quiet, but my, my, my homies who know, they already know. Yeah. Love you to the death. <laughs> but, but but did yo did they hate you or was it like some did like, no, no, some did yeah, some did um that. some already knew like because I came in the, in the gate letting it be known um so like I never lied about it so when it was when, when some people knew it was like hey I heard you this is in the third I was like yeah got a problem with it let's all right let's hop in the tank hit the circle nigga what's up yeah let's handle it like that at the end of the day you know when we're going to war I'm watching your back not your ass nigga. I don't even like straight niggas. I'm like a faggot. <laughs> I don't want no straight nigga. I want a bitch. <laughs> I ain't worried about you. <laughs> now your bitch, I might want her. Nigga, I don't want you. I'm not faggot. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So now, I, I feel like when it comes to uh, 
people being gay, there's there's a lot of public perceptions, right? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Usually, like people expect guys who are like out outwardly flamboyant to be gay. That's, so yes, call, honey, like, it's you know wrong, I mean? bitch. That shit, so, yeah, nah. So <laughs> it, 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 in the gay community, do they look at you weird? Your mannerism, how you are as a man, do they look at you like? They look you, at me like like. How, yeah, talk, talk about how they look at you, how they how you are perceived. Honestly, you know, as a black man being. Open the gay in the gay, how am I perceived in the gay community? Yeah, by other gay men. Yeah, as candy. What What is that? What's candy mean? As like a treat. As ooh, that's what I'm. Oh. Like, they, they like they like men. Even when they be super feminine, they at the end of the day they like men. And at the so end, are you considered too aggressive? Too too much? No, they thug, like, or like they. That's what they want. Okay. And, and I'm not. And so I'm and, 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 are you like? I, Upper echelon gay man in in the. Um, I, I, I would say I'm, 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 I'm 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 des- I, I would say I'm desired that way. Yeah. Okay. Is the Mandingo complex working in gay community too? <laughs> you feel me? That shit. That shit ain't no different. Just because it's dudes, it's worse. So, it's so, so they will choose you over a, a, a gay white man in a second. Those who are attracted to those who are attracted to my type ain't fucking gay white men. They most they oh this is that what they prefer. They prefer that thug BBC comma over there. Bitch, suck this dick. Fuck you talking about like so, uh, yeah yo. Are, so are you considered like a thug in in in, in that sense? <laughs> I guess I, yeah. I, I guess like I, I, it's a word they they use that where I'm from it means something different. It means DL where I'm from. So when I first heard it Wait, here, but it's DL like download. Yeah, DL mean download. So where I'm from, this word mean download. It's but called you not trade. Download, though. Hell no. So I hate that shit. Ahead, um, but it's a word called trade. That where I'm from, trade mean download. But here just mean a dude you can't tell that he mess with dudes. Gotcha, gotcha. And where I'm from, it mean because he trade from team to team. Okay, <laughs> he a trade. It, it. So it's like download, but like if somebody asks you, you telling them straight up. Yeah, but me, I've never. I, I, I guess I've just never been. I guess that makes sense by that definition because yeah. I'm not hiding it, but I'm also. But not... it's just that they can't. Somebody can't tell from the outside when they see you. That's yeah, you even mean. though even though I I carry purses and like well I, I, it's always these kind. Of, I'm, I'm I'm very into goth and shit, so I like a, yeah. a lot of times I paint my fingernails black. You see, I wear contacts all the time. Yeah, like I'll I'll do like black eyeliner and shit, but then people go, man, you just goth. But but you, you can tell when a nigga is gay. I can tell. I can tell. But if if he's like. Even if he even if he acted masculine, I can tell immediately. Okay, like that nigga take dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can tell immediately, bro. Like, oh, that nigga he take dick. <laughs> oh, okay, me, even even when he's down low, and I'm I'm saying down low in the sense that like the way he portrays himself, you you might he doesn't show the, the mannerisms are not outward. You got yeah, the stereotypical mannerisms of a gay dude. Yeah, exactly. I can still, can still tell. tell. Okay, it's, the, it's still so how do y'all how do y'all tell? What is um, one, if you're too homophobic, mm. if you overly homophobic, it, it just shows with it. Okay. It's, it's like if you if you have no problem with me until you figure out that piece of information and that is oh, it's a big problem. Oh, and you want some dick? <laughs> Why are you worried about what I'm doing with my dick if you don't want to? Morningstar did come back for a second interview after he got a divorce or broke up with his wife. And it was very intense. So a femboy is a guy who acts feminine, but he's straight. And I mean, if you look at his pictures, it's very hard to believe that he's straight, but he says he's straight. And I had to accept and respect that, that there are men who can present themselves that way and date women. Now, the fact that he says he can get any type of bitch that he wants, that's the only part that I say, bro, I don't think every type of chick that you want, you're going to get acting like you know with your presentation which is your presentation and there's nothing wrong with that but i know some of these women out here wants a different kind of nigga you know what i mean but he said he can get any type of check that he want so check it out this is tiante so when you say you're straight do people believe you um some people believe me open-minded people do but you know you have the naysayers they want to believe what they want to but you just have to listen, believe what they want to do because you can, at the end of the day, you can't change anybody's way of thinking. That's just them. Yeah. I know what I am. But have you, have you ever, like, yourself questioned your sexuality or you always felt straight? Like, you know? I mean, of course, when you're a teenager, I'm not a teenager right now. I'm 22. Yes. But when I was a teenager, every teenager goes through um, phases. They're questioning themselves like what's this what's that what's happening in my body 
um, your mental check so of course you're going to have those um, those thoughts to where you question your sexuality or question anything else um, of the matter but um, I ended up um, knowing that I was straight when I found out that I only am attracted to women yeah and yeah. so with that being said uh, how does that affect you know you being able to you know get girls like like does that affect you like they're like nah you too like feminine for me or you you still get all the women that you want you understand what I'm saying um, <laughs> most of the time it's like I don't have to deal with that I mean they're attracted to me so I don't have to deal with that most of the time but I have had you so you say you get all the girls that you desire, the caliber of women that you want, you get yeah. them. No issues. Yeah, I mean, I can relate to most. Most women can relate to me and I can relate to them due to the feminine thing. Like, so it's more easy. It's a mental thing. Okay, yo, cause I did have this conversation with a guy on, on my on my podcast and he's he's actually bisexual and he was saying that women actually like bisexual men but they can't say it publicly and she and, and he was saying they like bisexual men because they can also relate to the feminine side you know what i'm saying they have that connection with the guy but they can't come out and say it publicly you know um so with you yeah. you 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 have that connection with women the, you know so you you understand no because mm -hmm. you got you, you have the feminine trait with you i grew up or i grew up around a lot of women um Female cousins, um, of course, my mom. Um, I have, I had female friends, but I know a way to a woman's mind. In the end, what I learned is that people in the LGBTQ community, they're humans. They're a part of our society, and they've been that. It's just now, it's now become prevalent because they want rights too. Um, and I also do think that. What they do affects our human society. So we should be able to speak about them, critique them, cover them, whatever it is. But I don't think we should fear them because what they do in their bedroom has nothing to do with you. So you should not have fear of somebody who does something, you know, different in their bedroom than what you prefer to do. You know what I'm saying? I also realized that the lifestyle is separate from them the, so the point is if you're gay you don't have to talk like this because you're gay you don't have to walk like this because you're gay you don't have to dress like this because you're gay that's just a lifestyle that is created you understand what i'm saying um but to end it off my question is why are people still afraid of the lgbtq let's talk about it Okay, how?